Welcome everyone to the Praveen's talk today. We are glad to have Praveen today in our talk. Welcome everyone. Um, be great to uh, see where all of you are joining from. If you could uh, maybe just tell me on chat uh, all the different places in the world that you guys are joining from. It'd be great to see that. Um, while while you do that, um, let me just quickly introduce myself um, and, and tell you a little bit about what I'm going to be talking about. Um, so um, I've been um, uh, in the, the testing space, uh, you know, from a product perspective for the last five years uh, as part of Browser Stack. Um, I've launched, um, helped launch Automate uh, Mobile, uh, so Selenium testing on, on real devices, um, real mobile devices. Uh, I did a bunch of work around scaling, um, and I also currently manage our infrastructure platform, which uh, you know provides all the browsers and devices for um, all of our customers around the world uh, who run millions of tests a day. And um, as part of my responsibilities, I also work with very closely with the open source team um, at uh, Browser Stack. Uh, so we contribute very uh, significantly to Selenium, uh, and we also acquired Nightwatch uh, about a year and a half ago uh, to just uh, you know uh, accelerate development um, and, and contribute back to the community. So I work very closely with uh, with David Burns, uh, with Pooja, I think, uh, who's gonna be doing a panel uh, discussion um, or a fireside chat um, uh, later on today. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited uh, to, to, to talk to you uh, all about uh, Selenium and Nightwatch basically, right? And some of the cool new features that uh, we've been working on uh, with, with Nightwatch, which is a JavaScript, uh, based end-to-end -end testing framework. So you can use Nightwatch for um, all of your end-to-end -end tests. Uh, uh, it's, it's run, it runs on Node. Um, and I'm just gonna quickly go through some of the highlights uh, of the features uh, that we've built or are in the process of building out. Uh, and uh, yeah, with, with that, let's let's get into it. Um, okay, bunch of people, uh, Some somebody's joining from Germany, Trisha's from Germany, uh, Anurag, Jamin, uh, Pramod uh, joining from uh, India. Great, great to meet meet, meet and uh, see all of you. All right, let's get started. So, you know, I think uh, the, the main theme of my talk uh, today is really around, uh, you know, debugging tests, right? Um, you know, I think it's one of the, the big challenges in, in, in QA is when a test has failed, how do you quickly understand why it's failed, right? Uh, is it a really a bug? Is it uh, you know, some issue with your test suite? Is it some issue with the app that is being tested? Um, we don't know, right? Um, and we end up sort of chasing um, around uh, sometimes these bugs which are uh, false positives and, uh, you know, end up wasting a lot of time. So how do we simplify this debugging process? How do we make it as easy as possible, uh, you know, for, for, for QA engineers, for developers to quickly identify the root cause, uh, root cause of a bug? So, you know, I've sort of broken it down into three three main areas, right? One is just to understand you run a test or run a set of tests, your test suite. You wanna just quickly understand what the status of your tests are. Second is how do you examine failed tests, right? What is the kind of information that a developer or a QA engineer might need uh, in order to debug a failed test? And the third is, let's say you'd realize that something has gone wrong or you're not quite sure and you wanna try and reproduce the issue uh, how can you do that, right? And how do we simplify that process, right? And I'm gonna talk about this in the context of Nightwatch, right? So I, I believe strongly, um, you know, that Selenium uh, is, is, is the best sort of automation uh, tool out there. And, uh, you know, Nightwatch with Selenium is, is really magic, right? I think uh, uh, all the releases that we've had since Nightwatch version two uh, earlier this year, We've typically been releasing every two, two to three weeks uh, a bunch of new features and improvements, and we've got a lot more coming on the pipeline. And uh, you know, I think this is going to be uh, just a match made in heaven. So let's talk about, you know, uh, I'm sorry. Let's talk about debugging failed tests, and in the context of the same three points, how how do we accomplish this with Nightwatch and Selenium, right? Uh, so the first one is really around. Um, um, understanding the status of tests, right? Uh, how do I understand the status? And uh, we've built, recently we launched with Nightwatch 2.0, sorry, 2.2, uh, a uh, inbuilt HTML reporter, uh, which is quite basic right now, but uh, we're working on adding a bunch of features to it, um, you know, over the next few weeks and months. 
Uh, the third one, second one is how do we examine field tests? I'll talk a little bit about some of the integrations we've made with Selenium's CDP commands. Uh, and you know, hopefully in the future, we'll also be working on uh, some of the Selenium by uh integrations uh, with, with Nightwatch. Uh, and the last one is something that's not yet released, but we'll be launching uh, probably in the next week is our pause and debug functionality, which I'm super excited to show to you guys, uh, show to all of you here. All right. Let's keep going. All right, so the first one is our uh, sort of Nightwatch um, um, HTML reporter. Um, so what we've launched uh, recently is a very basic HTML reporter, very light, uh, very fast, uh, which helps you just look at aggregated test results, lets you look at uh, the durations uh, of each test, looks, lets you look at all the assertions that you've made uh, in your Nightwatch test suite um, and uh, you know understand what's worked or what's passed and what's failed. Uh, and uh, we, we're also working on a trace viewer uh, for you to get more debugging information. Um, and, you know, I think there are certain features that we're working on in the pipeline, things like attaching screenshots, you know, when you when you have a failure, you can basically configure Nightwatch to capture screenshots when there's a failed assertion and, you know, attaching those screenshots automatically uh, into your um, uh, HTML reports, uh, video at some point in the future is also something that we're uh, looking to do. Okay, uh, let's go to the next slide. Um, so, okay, the next one is around Selenium uh, and Nightwatch and Selenium CDP commands, right? So this is the second step, right? So once you run your HTML reports, uh, or once you run your test suite, I'm sorry, uh, and you've understood, okay, what are the, the tests that have failed, you wanna go in and double click into those failed tests and you wanna try and understand, hey, what's going on, right? Uh, why did these tests fail? Uh, and we have built some integrations with Selenium's uh, CDP, uh, basically the Chrome debugging protocol, and uh, uh, you know helped sort of expose some of these uh, logs, uh, you know, to you as a user, right? Uh, so you can extract all of this information right uh, from from your Nightwatch tests in, in a very very simple way. So here are some examples. Um, so this is. Uh, a code sample for capturing console logs, right? So I, I basically just have to uh, turn on this uh, or, or call this function, which is uh, browser capture browser console logs. Uh, and uh, I can basically, I'm just sort of simulating a console message here, which is console.error here. And you can see um, that it's actually, uh, you know, captured um, uh, uh, that, that, that statement uh, over here in my console logs, right? So obviously, uh, you know, you can insert whatever kind of uh, debugging information you want into your console logs during your tests uh, or in your test scripts. And um, you know, then you'll have a clear log uh, in your browser console logs that you can access uh, very, very easily through Nightwatch. Second piece is network requests, right? A lot of times, you know, a network call might fail, which might cause your uh, request to fail uh, or which might cause your assertion to fail. Uh, it might be a firewall issue. It might be an internet connectivity issue. Uh, we don't know, right? Uh, unavailability of that particular resource. Uh, so, uh, you know, Nightwatch now has an integration, a uh, very simple integration again, uh, to, to capture your network requests. Uh, and, you know, this is just an example. I basically, I'm, I'm going to google.com and I'm just capturing, uh, I'm showing you an example of one particular network call where I'm, I'm trying to get the favac on. And uh, it sort of shells you the request headers and the responses. Uh, so again, you know, this is just a very, very simple proof of concept example, but uh, it just tells you or shows you how you can sort of get all of this information during your tests, uh, you know, with your test scripts and uh, embed them, uh, you know, right uh, in, into your output so that, you know, when, when a test fails, you can go back in and look at, hey, did any network calls fail? Uh, and you have a very quick, uh, you can get a very quick understanding of, of why your test failed. And the last one is uh, browser exceptions. So, um, you know, uh, JavaScript exceptions that, that uh, or JavaScript failures that can happen uh, in your website. Uh, again, uh, you know, we've got a very simple way to capture this um, and, and log these events uh, into, your, uh, into your console logs. Um, and and log them to, to wherever you want actually basically so um, you know in this case you know I'm sort of I'm capturing uh, with with this function uh, capture browser events uh, browser exceptions and uh, you know you can you can sort of see the uh, the output here right uh, and this again I'm just simulating simulating an error here but uh, basically um, uh, this this just tells you or shows you how uh, you could use something like capture uh, 
capturing browser exceptions to help you debug uh, more effectively and more quickly. All right, great. Um, Trisha, just a quick time check. How much time do I have? Uh, you, it's 4.10, so you have another 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay, great, awesome. All right, let's keep going. Uh, this is one that I'm really excited about, which is reproducing an issue. So this is a feature which is uh, very, very quickly, very soon going to be released um, uh, on Nightwatch. Uh, we are basically allowing or, or providing users with a way to pause a test and also debug uh, uh, while the test suite is running, right? So um, I'm just gonna play this video and I'll walk everyone through this example. Oops, excuse me. Yeah, can, can you guys see my screen? Yes, yes, probably. Okay, great. So over here, you'll notice in this code sample, I've put in a uh, dot pause over here, uh, right? So now as I step through this, I'm running this test, which is going to DuckDuckGo. Right, and it's paused, right? Um, so now it's just waiting, right? Uh, after that uh, pause command has been, has been passed, it's waiting. So I can interact now with the browser, right? I could even click somewhere, do an inspect element, uh, debug, look at what's going on in the browser, look at the state. Um, so imagine a test has failed, you could rerun that specific test, right? And insert the pause command um, right before where you think the failure happened to get a clear sense of what the state of the application is, right? Or the state of your, uh, web app is uh, when that test was running, right? Right before the test failed. Um, and you could sort of look at uh, all the different properties of that web app uh, using using uh, uh, Chrome DevTools or, or any, any, any dev tool depending on the browser that you're using, right? And uh, I can just keep sort of pressing space to continue uh, with the steps, right? So it just keeps going. So it's just one by one and just keeps going, right? So that's pause. Uh, now I am switching this to debug. And I'm gonna rerun this now. Same thing, right? So I am doing this. Now what I can do, the advantage with debug is that I can actually start passing in commands, Nightwatch commands, right? Into my script uh, real time, right? Uh, while I'm in debug mode. Uh, so if you see this example, now I'm actually doing browser.navigate to a different URL, right? In this case, I'm gonna be going to Google. Um, and when I do that, I'm actually interacting now real time with the browser and it's going to Google through Nightwatch, right? And then now I can do a, get the value of the title uh, of the browser. Uh, and I could potentially set, you know, so in this case, I'm setting a variable or a constant uh, to that value. And I am now gonna do a assertion and I can actually see the state of that assertion, right? And I'm again, all of this is not in my original test suite, right? I'm actually adding this uh, while I'm in debug mode, right? Um, and this is, I think, an amazing feature because it will really help you uh, once you've identified a failed test, really to step through one by one um, what the, uh, you know, what, what, why you think that error, error occurred. And you can literally like play around with your test suite, right? Uh, while it is running, uh, while you're in debug mode. So I think this is a really, really powerful feature, right? Uh, to be able to interact with your web app, uh, pass in commands through Nightwatch, uh, pass in assertions, new assertions that you want to make, uh, and um, yeah, just step through your test suite, right? So it makes you, helps you accurately or easily reproduce an issue, right? When you know what's going on, you could do a pause, you could understand the state of your application, and uh, you could add in assertions, add in uh, more commands to try and understand what's going on. Great. Uh, I think, the, yeah, this is the second last slide, if I'm not mistaken. So a um, bunch of new things that are coming. Uh, like I said, pause and debug is coming soon uh, within the next week. Uh, we're also working on a VS Code extension, uh, which will allow you to set up Nightwatch, uh, run Nightwatch right through VS Code. So you never have to leave your IDE, uh, right? And we will be working on more and more IDE sort of extensions uh, over the next few months. Uh, you can even do things like inserting breakpoints or uh, using things like pause and debug right within, uh, right through VS Code, uh, right? So you don't have to ever leave the context of, of your of your code. 
uh, we're working on actionable error messages uh, inspired by Rust. And I love the way they sort of help you debug through their really, really verbose or really, really detailed error messages with very clear next steps on what to do or where to look in order to fix that error. Uh, I spoke about some of the new features we're going to be adding in our HTML reporter. Uh, we're going to add um, support for unit testing. Um, and uh, we're also going to be working on a bunch of performance improvements to help you run massive number of tests in parallel more effectively, also improve sort of your startup times uh, for your individual tests too. And yeah, this is the Nightwatch and the open source team. You can see David Burns there on the left, I think. Uh, yeah, and the, the rest of the team, Pooja and, and Shal, a bunch of folks here uh, uh, recently at the Brastech office. So uh, just a shout out to them. They're the ones doing all the hard work uh, on shipping all of these features. Uh, and yeah, I'm really excited uh, to bring all of these to you. Uh, please just give us a shout out, nightwatchjs.org. Uh, we have a very active uh, Discord community. We're pretty active on Twitter. So give us a shout out if you have any questions. Um, just reach out to us uh, and we'd be happy to sort of help you um, get started with Nightwatch. So that's it. Any questions? I think we have a couple of minutes for questions. Okay, integration with uh, other HTML reporters. Um, pretty easy. We, we do uh, have... Uh, integrations uh, we integrate with almost every other popular uh, html reporter out there so um, you know if you don't want to use our own html reporter you can uh, use any other html reporter that's out there the next question is can you talk about the stability of this tool uh, that's a very broad question um, i think uh, i think so uh, you know like i said uh, Nightwatch, you know, is, is, is a tool that's been around, um, you know, for six, seven years. It's really stable, uh, huge number of uh, usage in terms of users, now NPM downloads, GitHub stars. Uh, we're constantly working on improvements. Um, you know, I think Selenium 4 itself has made a lot of improvements uh, when it comes to stability uh, and also adding a lot of rich functionality around debugging. Uh, and, you know, our goal with Nightwatch is to just make it as as is the, the best framework uh, out there, uh, you know, for testing, right? Uh, if you have any specific feedback around our stability, uh, please do let us know. I'm like I said, you know, uh, we're, we're uh, available on Twitter uh, or just check out check us out on our website, nightwatchjs.org. You can join our Discord, Discord community from there and uh, give us any feedback. Happy to sort of take that. Yeah. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, we can use social media handle. I mean, if you could help uh, like your social media handle and uh, like how they can reach it out to you after the session. Yeah, you can reach out to me on Twitter. It's up uh, at Praveen1981. Okay. Um, any other way if you want people to reach out to you? It's... Uh, Praveen at browsestack.com. Email uh, works. Thank you. Thanks, Praveen, for sharing that. Thanks for giving your time. Thank you. Um, Thank you, Trisha, and thank you everyone for attending. Appreciate it.